you know, to worn out letter. Liuda, I don't really hope you'll find this letter, but I will still hide it at the place of our last discussion. Do not come back. Wherever you end up, it will still be better than here. I thought you were making a mistake. I thought you'd be proven wrong, but by refusing to shoot then, you didn't become cowards. You remained humans. While we, the ones who did shoot, we thought we became stronger, thought we were just, and could do no wrong. In fact, we became monsters. The Marauders used to come often. We've been fighting them off for as long as I can remember. We've been killing them, and I was okay with that. But murdering the surrendering ones? To the last man? I've been trying to wash the blood off my hands ever since. I used sand, I used ash, nothing works. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm really sorry I didn't leave with you back then. Oh, we're rolling through a cave. the church where the, the, the forest court is. So the, the pioneers and the pirates seem to me like they're, they were raised as children in the post-apocalyptic world. Oh, shit. That's a pirate. Maybe we should just execute him. Crumpled note. Guys, I'm at the lower farm with about 30 bandits. I've been leading them from the road. We'll hold them for half an hour, maybe. Losing too much blood. I'm sending the little one back with this message, because he wouldn't leave otherwise. Good luck, guys. Siri. Well, I don't think the little one made it. It's like the... Oh, what do we do now? They're both out. Well, just do the work yourself if you're so smart. I told you we should have just killed them. They aren't going to talk anyway. Just kill them? Ever tried hanging on one of their posts with wolves living at your feet? They have a lot <laughs> to answer for. Aren't you taking this a little too far? You sure don't look like you've been on a post. I haven't, but my friends have. How many fingers did he have left? What the what the fuck is that? Fuck I piss I said! Well Just a quick load. It looks like that we're now hanging we're now entering a bandit camp. So there's the pioneers who are the more peace loving children raised by the teacher. And we have the pirates, who are more violent, but also raised by the teachers, and they have what seems to be a decent alliance with the pioneers. They, like, fight with each other, but they're not, like, killing each other. And they do coexist in some ways. And then we've got the bandits. He's all dried up, but I'm sure. And there's long. Hey, the other boys from the third barracks. Where in the hell are these fuckers hiding? Don't worry, the two we got will talk soon. Oh, these fuckers never talk. Oh, these will. These will. Oh, it's really weird them boys are taking so long there. Should have started cutting fingers off long ago. They'd have spilled their guts by now. What are we even doing here? Such a shitty place. This place is bad news. Any greenhorn could get me here. <sighs> this what is just pointless. Spot this is. Pointless, I say. Freaks, muta.
Where am I trying to get to? Over there? Yeah, if I go down there, that's just gonna go badly. on the ears for a moment. Shit. This is the pits. Gotta keep both eyes peeled all the time and that's just exhausting. Okay. I think I have to go up here to get up on the rocks. Any traps? Any more traps? I've already fallen for plenty. gate here. A note. Hunter's note. If anything happens to me, I want you guys to know this. At the council meeting, you people didn't support my motion to conform with Roman's point of view. But you all know that Tolian said right before he died that he was only able to keep the master away from the camp with a Molotov. How many people do we have to lose? How long are we going to keep running from that monster? I didn't say this at the council, but I will say it here. Roman, you're a coward. I will chase the master away or I will die. And then you will know that it was you who killed two instructors with your cowardice. Should I have my uh, Molotov prepared then to throw at the master for when he comes at me? Because the master is the bear, right? I don't think that this is where the court is. Oh. Hello, Master. There. A present for you. Molotovs, do you? I don't know if these are even going in him. They might just be bouncing off of his hide. Shit. Ow. make more before he comes charging at me again. Nope, I don't have the means to make more. Maybe I'm supposed to go where he came from. I don't like all the, the noises. Nope, ain't getting through that. That's my last one. Unless I can find more laying around somewhere. That didn't work.
not good. I I'm not running apparently. Right in the butt. Did I get him? Is he leaving? Hey, thanks. There he goes. See you later. Oh, I thought that this was supposed to be the way that I was going to go. Thanks for the look, gameplay boy. I appreciate it. Alyosha, what is your situation? Over. How is it going? <laughs> oh, no, please. Uh, nothing so far. They're grown up boys, so don't you worry. And take a nap. I'll wake you up when they get in touch with us. My God. <laughs> Artyom, Alyosha, I'm playing the recording now. Lost contact with you. The Aurora is going to the arranged rendezvous point at the dam. If you can't re-establish radio contact, go there right now. Okay. Got to go to the dam. Okay. We've made it to a workbench. I don't have any chemicals. I just used all of my chemicals there. That's not good. Especially because I have to clean my gun. I do not want the night vision scope. We'll go with the reflex sight. And now I'm, like, out of chemicals because I wasted them all on Molotovs. Okay, we got some more. Okay, generator's empty. not making me check a bunch of them before I find it. We got a radio now, though. Am I not going to use the radio? the point of turning on the generator then? Freeze Drifter! Hello. So, we meet again? Though I bet you don't remember who dragged you out of the water. My name is Olga, by the way. Was it you fighting the master of the forest? Awesome. Our hunters had been staying away from him for years. Damn it. Sorry, teacher. The locks are all rusted up. Your friend Alyosha is already at the dam. He said your cardinal won't wait, so you don't have much time. Sorry, I can't take you there. At today's consul session, the pirates moved to attack your train, but they had no right to even call one without me present. As usual, I need to go and sort this out. But I have a few minutes to give you some directions. You need a boat to get to the dam. And our pirates keep all the boats at their swamp camp. 
They are not the sharing kind, but that's no reason to attack. Nobody wants bloodshed, so just stay out of their sight. Take the road to the barricade. Go down to the swamp and find the dock. That's where Alosha and I took the boat from. Peter, forgive me. There are some left, but be careful. Well, Drifter, take care. And don't make me sorry I helped you people. Tell Alosha I said hi. I'll Get stay a bit longer to tend to the grave of the teacher. So the teacher has passed away. Decided to relax a bit before the trip. That's a good idea. And I am stuck in thought here. Once the master decided to haunt the vicinity, people all but stopped coming, though they hadn't forgotten. The teacher raised us all, taught us how to survive in the forest. If not for him, we'd all belong dead. So the girls used to come here every day, and the boys still make it from time to time. Even Roman does visit, though it was because of him that the teacher left back then. Most of us went on a trip down the river. There were just a few people left on duty in the camp. When we came back, we found it raided by bandits. It still pains me to remember the scene. Can't even describe it. Once we and the younger group were done crying, the teacher was digging the graves alone. The elder boys were nowhere to be seen. We helped the teacher with burying ours. It was dark already when the boys returned and sat around the campfire. Roman was so covered with blood. You could only see his eyes and teeth. Then they started talking. Tracking was easy. The bandits didn't even try covering their tracks. So the boys waited till they all got drunk in their camp and shot them with bows. Then Roman knifed the wounded like they were deer. The teacher just sat there listening. I can still see his chin tremble. And he didn't say anything, anything at all. They understood what he meant anyway. Come morning, he was gone, to this church. At first, he wouldn't speak to anyone, but us girls kept checking up on him, just to bring him some berries, or ask for advice. And gradually, he started speaking to us. Still, he was like a different man, so distant. He never talked to the older boys anymore. So he'd reply to their letters, and to the rest of us who'd keep visiting him, he would always say we had to become their conscience, keep them from becoming monsters. But how do you do that? And they didn't stop at that either. Started calling themselves pirates, made the floated lumber mill in the swamp their private HQ. Then they started hanging bandits from the posts, calling them musts. One day they took about ten bandits alive and used them to test all the boys. Made them kill the bastards. None of ours could do it. And they all got called cowards for that. And then got ostracized. That's how the pioneers came to be. Of course they all calmed down by now. They are talking to each other at least. But back then... Only Luda and I could speak for the teacher at the council meetings. In the end, Luda and a few boys just couldn't take it anymore and left. I wonder if they found a better place to live. 
I still keep checking the radio hoping to hear from them. Anything else? The teacher hoped too, but that hope didn't last long. They left in July, and in September he shot himself. That seemed to get through to Roman. He got calmer. Some of the elder guys went over to the pioneers. After all, the important thing is that we stay together. So, so now I have an important voice at the council. Cause I can kick ass if they don't listen. And not just because they are not supposed to hurt girls. A fair fight is a fair fight. Thing is, the only one I lost to in a fair fight was Roman. And even then, I gave him a blue eye he had to wear for a week. <laughs> that earned his respect. The one I had the most trouble with was the Admiral. He was Roman's right-hand man. Wouldn't leave the lumber mill no matter what. Kept saying we must defend it, if we don't want the mutants to eat the whole valley. But the radiation levels kept climbing there. Roman checked it with the counter himself. So at one council meeting, Roman and our instructors had everyone vote against the Admiral. And the pirates went on to build a new fort near the shore, where it's still okay to stay. The Admiral would have none of that. So he and his most hardcore flunkies stayed at the mill. I never heard from them again. Radiation's not to be played with. The teacher didn't warn us all for nothing. So now, without the Admiral, there is nobody who dare give me any trouble in the Council. I'll put a leash on them tonight, all right. Don't you worry. I just need some time to gather my thoughts. I don't like politics, really. You could listen to the teacher's diary if you like. He kept recording it. As if he knew. Yes. I must have heard it hundred times already and still... We let him down. We really did. Is that where we're ending it now? Okay. Let me just, uh... Okay, thanks. Thank you for the lore. Actually, it was pretty interesting. Where's this diary right here? The radio's silent. My last hope for giving them a positive goal, leading them out of this forest dead end, was a complete fluke. Where did I go wrong? How could these great, talented, active, brave, honest, friendly children who would actively seek justice turn into... Monsters. Sure, I'm no Pestalozzi, but I did all I could. And even more, I gave them all my soul, my life. And uh, what did that result in? A society of shut-ins who only respect strength and are no less cruel than the bandits they fight. Yes, some of them kept their purity, shrugged off the bad influence, and ended up leaving. I gave them all the fuel I had. Changed. Could it be that in this world that routinely changes even the harmless animals into nightmarish freaks, mankind simply has no future? What is there to hope for? What's the point of even going through the motions anymore? Well, at tonight's council session, I'm going to remind them all what the teacher thought in the end. I'll give them a piece of my mind. Did the teacher save us all so that we could just attack people? Defending ourselves is one thing, but attacking? They can't deny that, and we'll have to stand down. Those pirates. Oh, boys. Well. Is that everything now? Okay. 
Rest in peace, teacher. Alright, let me relight that. Alyosha probably did visit the church, but already left for the dam. I should catch up with him, so I'd better follow the old road again. Okay, I still have a little bit of time, because I started a little bit late. Thanks for the help, Olga. Appreciate it. 